Okay, welcome back. Uh, I've had a little bit of time to think and gather my thoughts. So, yeah, this isn't as complete as I thought it was, and I missed, like, the stupid obvious thing, obviously. So, this um, little thing right here is not actually necessary. You don't need that. That's if you... Actually, you, you need to have it in there, but you don't need to actually put anything under it. All right, so what I didn't do is I didn't come out, comment out the original code. I also didn't set all this other stuff here at the end of the... Um, disable like a sequence. So now, um, basically what this does is it says that we're going to look for this address, or at this address we're going to assign a bit of space to it. We're going to inject um, this point here. We're going to put in a jump to this new mem, which is here. So it's going to go, it's going to go here, do all this stuff, and once it's done it's going to jump to return here. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, and it's going to put all this stuff in memory. So that's why that's where all this stuff is here. It has jump plus the four or three knobs. That's this right here. Um, and then when it's disabled, it's going to deallocate the new mem uh, set of memory here. And then it's going to in here set these two original values back. So as you can see, when I disable it, these come back. And when I enable it, it does puts the jump back in. Now, what is the good of that? Well, the good of that is now when I buy things. My gold doesn't go down. So I can do as much of this stuff as I want with this. And I can get stuff back. Can't, well, I can't sell it that because she doesn't want it. But, uh, uh, pain. How come she sells stuff that she won't buy back? That's weird. Anyway, I can buy stuff, not lose any money, sell it, get the money back, buy stuff, and do this. And why is that useful? It's just as good as locking the value of the gold, but um, no pace. Call it no pace script. And we're gonna put that up under here. So it's just the thing for fun, pretty much. Um, don't need to really do anything with this other stuff, but um, yeah, that's that's basically that in a nutshell. So <laughs> that's that. What is this anyway? Because Maka, Maka, oh, I guess they're for making bombs or something, I don't know. Alright, so that was basically how that works. Oh, uh, wrong option. Farewell. Farewell. Okay, so. I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone. Uh, uh huh, yep. Talk now. Oh, I see some like experience points. Cool. Don't really care about experience points right now, but. I guess I could always gain a level, right? So let's look here. Um, so I want to get my level up to the maximum here, I suppose. We'll just jump straight to it. So how do I know what the maximum level is? I have no idea. And honestly, I don't care. <laughs> um, I think I think it might be like 70 is what I read at some point somewhere. So I'm going to throw my experience up to a random number, like 500,000. And... Um, No, I've got to close all the way out, sorry. There we go, so it's at 500,000. Next time I earn some experience, it should, uh... Got it. It Here. should be cool, Let's so. Got it. I'm no. Mm. Alright, sure, I'll play a game. I think this might give me experience, so I'm gonna play. But this also gives me the opportunity to do some cool stuff with, uh... With, uh, finding this stuff. I don't know what the... Okay, anyway. So... I don't know. I don't really... I really rarely played this when I was playing through the game normally. I think I don't want that. Cool, I guess. I guess this looks like a decent hand. <clears throat> so I'll put this down. That down. I might as well put that one down. I don't really. 
There's some strategy here. I guess it doesn't really matter so much. <laughs> uh, and then I'll, I'll play my fog card. What's the difference? Is he gonna pass? Just pass, dude. You're such a fucking asshole. Okay, I'll play this now too. Great. And then I'll play you because now I have this. And I will play this, and now I have a two plus one one. I'm winning. Yay, passed. Great. I'm trying to. There we go. Alright, so I won a round. Cool. Pretty sure I can beat him on the next round, too. Not what I meant to do. Good enough, though. Yeah, if you have two of the same thing, you can, like this, you get a double and you get eights and great. I don't really need to explain this. I could probably cheat this game, too, but. Or cheat this, but I don't really care that much. I'm just trying to do this to hope I get some experience so I can gain the levels. I guess I win. I'm gonna play my faction card because it. What? Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I won. Well, I'll remember. Did I get experience? Nope, we got a fucking nothing. Maybe I can walk. Nope, I gotta talk to this. Wait, ooh, I can walk out here and maybe fight these guys? That'd be really cool. Yes. Uh, yeah, 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 I can find something finally. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Play cards unless it's an experience. Oh, it didn't. Oh, yes. All right. So I've gotten my uh, experience up to a ridiculous level now. Which freaking okay, cool. I, I guess that's a thing. So whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue here that I can't skip. Really want to skip it though. Maybe I should make a code for skipping dialogue. I don't think that's an option. I don't even know how I start with that, honestly. Okay, so. As you can all see, why am I on the wrong horse? Am I on the wrong horse? That was the wrong horse. What was it? No, that wasn't the wrong horse. This is the wrong horse. Okay. <laughs> um, I just, um, uh, dude's cheering for me and I haven't, I just beat the shit out of him. Okay, thanks. Uh, moving on. So, um, that was fun. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna just follow this dotted line now. Okay, so... Yeah, I've got gold, I've got my level up. Oh, I guess the next thing is points, huh? So, um, if I go into, my or into this thing here in the character screen, I've got 98 points. So, we'll just do the usual thing. So we'll scan for 98 points. And then I'll put a point in something. I'll scan for 97 points. And I'll put a point in something else. I'll scan for 96 points. And they haven't changed, so... Fudge. Um... I'm gonna say that the let's see one of these these are gonna be right about the same area 
I'm gonna say it's probably this EA six one because that's close to the experience. And it is, so that is the correct value. Outstanding. So uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here where I find you know this value. So but first I'm gonna run the script here and prepare my uh, location for it. So here we go. Copy this back into the no not that script. Back into the script and just set the value like it needs to be. And we'll call this AP because that's short for ability points. And I'm not even gonna bother copying and pasting because you're just a freaking type of shit. And then AP colon underscore AP colon. I don't think I unregistered, I didn't, so I gotta this twice, and I gotta unregister gold and unregister AP. Alright, so it should be all set. And I can get rid of that. Add address manually. AP. I'll actually put it right above that one. We'll call it AP. And we'll do the handy dandy script running. See, my experience is actually going kind of wonky. Uh, clearly not meant to go that high. That's fine. I'm uh, not that worried about it, to be honest. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Tired. Oh, and we're at the end of the uh, ten minutes or so here. So, um, not that you know we're gonna miss a whole lot. It's, I think we've pretty much beat the dead horse on getting uh, on how to do this quick scripting uh, area byte scans. So that's that's how that works, and with that, I'm going to end the episode here for now, and uh, I will see you on the next one. And that's where we're actually going to play a bit more of the game. Uh, I'm actually going to go through and add all the uh, points in because it's kind of a lengthy process and it's fairly annoying. So I'm going to add all the points in, so the next time we come in, I'm going to be ready to go. All right, see you next time.